It's the week of October 25th, 2022. My name is Abby. And I'm Juliana. Welcome to your TNN. It seems like fall weather is finally here. Yes, the temperatures for this week is expected to be in the 70s. I hope this nice weather is here to stay. This week in history, 63-year-old school teacher named Annie Edson Taylor became the first person to successfully take the plunge over Niagara Falls in a barrel on October 24th, 1901. In 1861, Western Union completed the first transcontinental telegraph. In the famous shootout at the OK Coral and Tombstone, Arizona occurred in 1881. See you next week on This Week in History. Now let's go over to Avery and Zoe for the weekly news report. My name is Avery. And I am Zoe. This is the weekly news report. In U.S. news, a Minnesota man grew a pumpkin that weighs as much as a small car. Travis's pumpkin weighed about 2,560 pounds. Pumpkin took first prize in the Safeway World Championship pumpkin way off. In local news, Tartessa Trunk or Treat will be held on October 28th at the Sports Park from 6 to 9 p.m. There will be food trucks, small businesses, and lots of candy. Come out for some fun times. That is all for today. See you next time on the Weekly News. Thank you, every Avery and Zoe. Now let's go over to Miss William in the Counseling Corner. This is Williams with a message from the Counseling Corner. All right, you guys, so you know we've been focusing on friendship. So this is our last week for friendship. So I challenge you guys to go and do something special for a friend. So it can be anything. It could be maybe when you go trick-or-treating, you can get them their own special candy. Maybe you guys can um, make them something, a card, um, anything, just anything, an extra snack anything that you guys think of to help your friends or show them how much they mean to you that would be fantastic to end our month of friendship all right you guys can't wait to hear your challenges when i'm in the schools tell me what you guys did for each other because friendship brings kindness and you know miss williams loves kindness so all right guys so have a great rest of your week and i will see you later bye thank you miss williams now it's time for sports with blake Welcome to sports. My name is Blake. The Arizona Cardinals played the New Orleans Saints this past Sunday. Let's take a look at the score. This Sunday, they will play the Minnesota Vikings at 10 a.m. The Phoenix Suns were, were away this weekend playing the Los Angeles Clippers. Tonight, they, will, they are back at home with a game against the Golden State Warriors. The Tonopah Valley varsity football team was 7-1 and one going into the game last weekend. This Friday, they are away at Highland Prep in Surprise. That is all for today. See you next time on Sports News. Hey, Blake. How is your favorite team, the Eagles, going? Good. Good. 6-0, and oh, but they're probably going to win again. Thank you, Blake. Now let's go over to Gianna with Entertainment Report. Welcome to Entertainment News, I am Gianna. Great Britain lost another famous actor this month, Robbie Coltrane, who played Hagrid in the Harry Potter movies, passed away at the age of 72. On a happier note, Harrison Ford has signed with Marvel to appear in the next Captain America movie. Ford is the best known for his roles as Hans Solo and Indiana Jones. Not only we could look forward to seeing him as general roles, but Indiana Jones 5 is set to come out this summer. See you next time on Entertainment News. Thank you, Gianna. Now let's go to Kenneton, her special guest for Joker Week. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Joke of the Week. My name is Kittens. And my name is Mason. So, Mason, what is your joke? What is a tornado's favorite game? I don't know. What is a tornado's favorite game? Twister. <laughs> Great joke. If you have a joke and you would like to tell it on the news, please stop by and see Miss Taylor. We would love to have you on. See you next time on Joke of the Week. Thank you, Cadence. Now it's time for Fun Fact Trivia with Cyrus and Chip. <laughs> Welcome to Fun Fact Trivia. My name is Silas. And I'm Trenton. Did you know that today, October 25th, is National Greasy Foods Day? 
Although not the healthiest of choices, every once in a while it is okay to enjoy some greasy food from fried chicken pizza, nachos, and french fried fries to bacon and hash brown potatoes. And even a sweet dessert will all treat us a regular diet. Your question for today is what is the most popular sweet fried food in Arizona? A. Funnel cake. B. Fried ice cream. C. Churros. You have 10 seconds to make your decision. If you said C, churros, you are correct. According to Google Trends, churros are the most popular fried dessert in Arizona. Fun fact, the churro originated in China as a savory fried snack. See you next time on Fun Fact Trivia. Thank you, Taz and Jen. Now let's go to Evelyn with, for our word of the week. Welcome to Word of the Week. My name's Evelyn. This week's word is horizontal. Horizontal is an adjective that means it's parallel to the surface of the earth or to the horizon. Here's how you can use it in a sentence. The tabletop is horizontal to the ground. See you next time on Word of the Week. Thank you, Evelyn. This is all for your TNN. See you next week. Bye.